Hello, welcome back to Cooks of Delicious. This is Crunchles, and uh, we have something that is specific to four and five star restaurants. That is VIP visits. Guy Fernando would like to bless you with his presence today at your eating establishment, where he will be eating three of your meals spanning from 4 p.m. through 7 p.m. He requests pizza, soup, pasta, and steak. So, let's have pizza, soup, pasta, pizza, pizza, soup, pasta, steak. Okay. Uh, so let's keep burgers. Uh, down, burgers up. Let's do that. So we got a reservation. Uh, I botched the uh, cook for love because I didn't put fries on the menu for that day. So she was like, I'm out of here. Cook for love rejected. See, right there. We have been rejected. But we've got Guy Fernando to fill that void, so let's do it. I wonder if he speaks the same way Guy Fieri speaks. Do you think he's fine with people calling him Guy Fieri? Or do you think he insists on people saying Guy Fieri? I don't know, I feel like he'd be the kind of person to insist you say his name in a specific way. Otherwise, he won't do any business with you. Oh, that's just the impression I get. Uh-huh. Guy Fieri here. I can't do a Guy Fieri voice. <laughs> I tried. And, uh, you know, you can never say I didn't try. You can't take away the attempt. What you can do is take away my dignity, though, because that was terrible. There are very few voices I can do, and even those, most of them are a little dubious. Right, let's see. So there's a... Uh... Well, either they're dubious, or they're just not... Like they're not a celebrity voice, but more just like a type of accent. I don't know. I don't want to get into this. That's. It feels like weird bragging. Like, oh, I can, I can speak in different voices. Ha ha ha. Who can't? Shut up, me. Gosh. Such a braggart sometimes. Honestly, I need to be put in my place. Uh, five. So BLT. Okay. I think, uh... No, that's not him. It's not the... It's not time yet. Still have more time before Guy Fernando comes in. Right now we're just serving someone's butler. Oops. So, things are going pretty well here, actually. Alright. I feel like if this game was ever speedrun, getting the cheesy bread order right would warrant some applause because a lot of the time with pizzas you know you just automatically put on one of the sauces that's hickory there goes our perfect day curses right the spit Or a little chicken. Oh. Ah, there's Guy Fernando. He's got the star next to his order. To let us know. There's one order you don't mess around with. Make sure you get it right. 
And uh, I actually think all it does for you is it gives you a buzz boost for the next day. So really, I mean, it's not that important, but still. EP, here we go. And start up at the top, work our way down. Six. Seven. V10. What was wrong with that pizza? Okay, Fernando's ordering a steak now. Or was that not the pizza? Was that the steak that I sent out? The average steak? I think that was it. <clears throat> you know, it is a little weird being on the other side of this. Because there are plenty of times when I'm watching, you know, I'm watching a Let's Play, and I just say, come on, it's right in front of you, do the thing, it's right there, you, you can stop looking for it, it's right in front of you, but, you know, when you're actually playing, your, uh, your attention's split between trying to be entertaining and trying to play the game. So sometimes you miss something. For example, whether what the order you just sent out was steak or uh, pizza. And six, two. Meat tomato, keeping cheese, cheese tomato. Uh, for other people, it would be you know, trying to be entertaining. For me, it's just trying to know what to talk about. And the OOT, which I, you know, I mean, I guess that would go under being entertaining. Uh, nobody really wants to hear anyone talk about boring things. Like taxes. I took a look at my Roth IRA today, and man, I tell ya, that's getting up there. Well, that's weird. That's probably not going to be a very good burger, because I put the tomatoes on the bottom. Uh, bacon, cheese, tomato, pickle. Alright. So there was serving a VIP. Basically, you just make orders. You know, you don't have to do anything special for them except have those four things on your menu. Right. Category empty. Uh, no more products within this category. Okay. So this is just telling us we funded all the click and start stuff. Good job. You'll eat there in the future. Menu rot. That video went viral. Alright. So before we do the next day of service, uh, A, I'll build out my menu, um, yeah, and before we do that, we have the semifinals. So as you can tell from this, there's going to be one more after that. Each wave will bring an upgraded soup to challenge you. <laughs> Easy peasy. You're going to be giving me soups for the semifinals? Come on. Come on, Risotto. Easy life. Want to step to me? Can't step to me. Not where soups are concerned. I'm a soup master. So now we got an upgrade. I think vegetable soup is the only thing that uses red peppers. Interestingly enough. Oh, five. Can you give me any more? No, that's it. <coughs> but yeah, I 
think red peppers are only used in vegetable soup. Anyway, here's the Baristobo. The Baristobo I know and love. Man, you're sticking with the one star soups though. Chef, keep giving me these soup du jours. Alright, here we go. Good old Louisiana trying to throw me off, huh? It's not gonna work. Because I am the god of soups. You cannot handle me. You cannot handle my strongest soups. We're up at four stars now. Which, you know, whoopee, big deal. <laughs> We've been there for a while. Good old one bean soup. Ah, I was biting my lip there. Huh. <sighs> Talk about a shoe in for the finals, right? <clears throat> I've been making soup since day one, chef. There's nothing you can throw at me. Ooh, more vegetable soup. Right, that is a uh, bit of up. Ooh, more vegetables. Is the chopping of the vegetables supposed to make it tough? Because it's not. Um. What I find funny is it said one of the hardest ingredients, or one of the hardest whatever, food items, the soup. And here I am, just crushing it. Oh. Feels good to be a gangsta? Perhaps? 2,000 bucks. 2,000 ducks. Alright. Now, one more day. Do we have... Ugh, no. <laughs> we'll just do a day of service. To fill out the episode and also you know it, it gets us closer to uh to the five star all right blot yes yes go chicken put down the lobster and top Sauce, cocktail ginger, it's always a little demoralizing to see the uh, perfect day go out the window right at the start of the day. Like it's okay if it's been, you know, if it's uh, like halfway through the day, if it's after the first rush hour or something, but... Okay, I'm pretty sure I pressed T there. Did it not? Did I? I didn't see the uh, tomato register on there. Is it just a visual bug, maybe? Because on that last... TRTRMG... Uh, like on the last um, burger, the uh, LTOP one, I didn't see the onions on there. So it might just be something that happens if you uh, put stuff on too fast. Butter garlic, one cup of ginger, chicken, chicken, lettuce, tomato. By tomato, I mean pickle. Oops. Uh, 
GRT, GRT, MK. Well, put one too many uh, peppers on there. Uh, butter garlic. Cocktail ginger, that's butter. It's funny how even when you're saying what you're gonna put on, you can still get it wrong. Like your mouth's saying one thing, but the uh, the uh, muscle memory is saying another. T T R T R T R M. Okay. Uh, P P P M P K P L. Lobster, lobster, pasta. sit up in my chair started slipping right garlic ginger butter garlic six baby pui right ham bow tai chi zucchini Melts. Cause that uh that burger just melts in your mouth. That's why it's melts. That was seven. Uh garlic cocktail. Garlic ginger. Uh KPK grops. And I think those burgers have been here for a while. So let's get those taken care of. Hi, Z. No rush hour, which means chores. Uh, KP, 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 KR. And start back at the top. Double butter, double cocktail. All right, easy life. And if I was just perfect with all my button presses. This would be a perfect day. I think. Maybe. Uh, four. G R G R G R M T. Thankfully, uh, I didn't register the first time I pressed enter. Pressed entered? Did I say that? I might have said that. Again, uh, talking and playing, surprisingly more difficult than. I would have thought. Which is why I'm not talking. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. But I did it anyway. I don't know if that was six or seven. FDFPS, Piero. Three, five, seven, six. Double cocktail. <sighs> Words and speaking is hard to do when you don't know what to talk about. But that's the end of the day, which is also subsequently the end of the video. Once all these orders go out, of course. <clears throat> But after they go out, I will say thank you for watching. If you liked the video, hit like. If you like my commentary or gameplay, hit subscribe. And uh, 
we're going to just keep going for five stars. So thanks for watching again, and I'll see you next time.